Welcome to the Vatican, a city-state that is home to some of the world's most fascinating and impressive works of art and architecture. The Vatican is a treasure trove of hidden gems that are waiting to be discovered. Join us as we take a deep dive into the secrets and wonders of this incredible place and explore some of its most famous and fascinating attractions. Get ready to be amazed and inspired by the rich history and culture that is waiting to be uncovered within the walls of the Vatican. The Vatican is the spiritual center of the Roman Catholic Church, and it is the residence of the Pope, who is the head of the Catholic Church. It is also home to many of the world's most famous and important religious and artistic treasures, including St. Peter's Basilica, the Sistine Chapel, and the Vatican Museums. The history of the Vatican dates back to the early Christian era, when the site was used as a cemetery and a place of worship. It became a major center of the Catholic Church in the Middle Ages and it was formally established as an independent city-state in 1929, following the signing of the Lateran Treaty between the Holy See and Italy. The Vatican Museums are a complex of museums and galleries located within the Vatican City, containing one of the world's largest and most important collections of art and artifacts. The museums were founded in the early 16th century by Pope Julius II, who began collecting ancient Roman and Greek sculptures and other works of art. Over the centuries, the collections grew to include works from all over the world, ranging from ancient Egyptian artifacts to Renaissance paintings and sculptures. The Spiral Staircase The Spiral Staircase, also known as the Bramante Staircase, is a beautiful work of architecture located in the Vatican Museums. It was designed by the Italian architect Giuseppe Momo in 1932 as a replacement for an older staircase that was too steep and narrow. The staircase is a double helix, which means that two separate staircases wind around a central axis in opposite directions. This design allows visitors to ascend and descend the staircase without crossing paths, which helps to prevent overcrowding and congestion. The staircase is made of travertine stone and has a balustrade made of wrought iron. The steps are slightly inclined, which makes the ascent easier. The central axis is illuminated by natural light from a round skylight at the top of the staircase. One interesting fact about the staircase is that it was built without the use of any screws, nails, or supports. The steps are held in place by the weight of the staircase itself, which is a testament to the skill of the engineers and builders who designed and constructed it. The spiral staircase is considered to be a masterpiece of modern architecture and is one of the most popular attractions in the Vatican Museums. It is located near the exit of the Vatican Museums and is the last thing visitors see before entering St. Peter's Basilica. The Map Room The Map Room, also known as the Gallery of Maps, is one of the many stunning galleries in the Vatican Museums. It was commissioned by Pope Gregory XIII in the late 16th century and was designed by the Italian cartographer and mathematician Ignazio Danti. The map room is located on the west side of the Belvedere Courtyard, and it is a long, narrow gallery that measures about 120 meters in length. The walls of the gallery are decorated with a series of 40 large-scale maps that depict the regions of Italy and the Papal territories. The maps were painted in fresco and are incredibly detailed and accurate for their time. Each of the maps measures about 4.5 meters by 6 meters and is framed by elaborate decorative borders. The maps are arranged in a geographic order, starting with the northern regions of Italy and moving southward to Sicily and Sardinia. The Gallery of Maps is a masterpiece of Renaissance cartography and painting, 
and it is considered one of the most important examples of Italian Renaissance art. The maps provide a fascinating glimpse into the geography and history of Italy, and they are a testament to the skill and creativity of Ignazio Dante and his team of artists. In addition to the maps, the map room is also decorated with a series of portraits of the popes who oversaw the creation of the gallery, as well as elaborate stucco decoration and ceiling frescoes. It is a stunning example of the artistic and cultural richness of the Vatican Museums. The Gallery of Statues The Gallery of Statues is one of the many stunning galleries in the Vatican Museums. It is located on the ground floor of the museum and is one of the first galleries that visitors encounter on their tour. The Gallery of Statues is lined with a series of ancient Roman and Greek sculptures, which were acquired by the popes during the Renaissance period. The sculptures include a variety of mythological and historical figures, as well as busts of Roman emperors and other important figures. Some of the most famous sculptures in the Gallery of Statues include the Apollo Belvedere, the Loocone and his sons, and the Torso Belvedere. The Apollo Belvedere is a stunning sculpture of the Greek god Apollo, which is believed to have been created in the second century A. The Torso Belvedere is a fragment of a statue of a muscular male figure which was highly prized by Renaissance artists for its powerful form and dramatic presence. The Gallery of Statues is also decorated with a series of frescoes and stucco decorations, which were added during the Renaissance period. The frescoes depict scenes from Greek and Roman mythology, and the stucco decorations are highly intricate and detailed. The Gallery of Statues is a stunning showcase of ancient Roman and Greek art and Renaissance craftsmanship. The Room of the Segnatura The Room of the Segnatura, also known as the Stanza della Segnatura in Italian, is one of the most famous and important rooms in the Vatican Palace. It was painted by the Italian Renaissance master Raphael between 1508 and 1511, and it is considered one of his greatest masterpieces. The Room of the Segnatura was originally used by Pope Julius II as his private library and study. It was later used by Pope Pius IV as a meeting room for the Congregation of the Holy Office and it is now used for official receptions and ceremonies. The room is divided into four sections, each of which is decorated with a series of stunning frescoes by Raphael. The first section, known as the Disputation of the Holy Sacrament, depicts a group of theologians discussing the doctrine of transubstantiation. The second section, known as the School of Athens, depicts a gathering of philosophers, including Plato, Aristotle, and Socrates. The third section, known as the Parnassus, depicts Apollo and the Muses on Mount Parnassus, surrounded by poets and artists. The fourth section, known as the Cardinal Virtues, depicts four female figures representing the virtues of prudence, justice, temperance, and fortitude. The Room of the Segnatura is a stunning example of Renaissance art and architecture. The frescoes are incredibly detailed and lifelike, and they provide a fascinating glimpse into the intellectual and cultural world of Renaissance Italy. The room also features beautiful stucco decoration and a coffet ceiling, which add to its overall grandeur and beauty. The Logocone Group the La Ocon group is a famous ancient sculpture that is housed in the Vatican Museums. It is a marble statue group that depicts the Trojan priest La Ocon and his two sons being attacked by sea serpents. The statue is believed to have been created in the first century BC by Greek sculptors Aegisander, Athenodoros, and Polydoros. It was discovered in Rome in 1506 and was immediately recognized as a masterpiece of ancient sculpture. The Lo Ocon group is a powerful and dramatic work of art, 
and it is particularly famous for its incredibly realistic depiction of pain and suffering. The figures are depicted in a moment of intense physical agony, with their bodies contorted in painful positions and their faces twisted in expressions of terror and despair. The sculpture has been admired by artists and scholars for centuries, and it has been the subject of numerous interpretations and analyses. Some have seen it as a symbol of the suffering and agony of the human condition, while others have interpreted it as a political allegory or as a representation of the triumph of rationality over emotion. Today, the Lugokon Group is one of the most famous and beloved works of art in the Vatican Museums, and it is a testament to the enduring power and beauty of ancient sculpture, the Pieza. The Pia is one of the most famous and beloved sculptures in the world, and it is housed in St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican City. The Pita was created by the Italian Renaissance master Michelangelo between 1498 and 1499, when he was just 24 years old. It depicts the body of Jesus Christ after his crucifixion, cradled in the arms of his mother Mary. The sculpture is notable for its incredible beauty and emotional power, as well as its technical mastery. Michelangelo used the natural veining and coloration of the marble to create an incredibly realistic and lifelike depiction of the human body. He also infused the sculpture with a sense of deep spirituality and emotion, creating a powerful image of maternal love and sorrow. The Peter was originally commissioned by a French cardinal for his own tomb, but it was later moved to its current location in St. Peter's Basilica. It has been admired and celebrated by artists and scholars for centuries, and it is considered one of the greatest masterpieces of Renaissance art. The Vatican Museums are home to over 70,000 works of art, displayed in 54 different galleries and halls. In addition to its incredible collections of art and artifacts, the Vatican Museums also boast some of the most stunning architecture and interiors in the world. The buildings themselves are works of art, with ornate decorations and frescoes adorning the walls and ceilings. The Vatican Museums are an absolute treasure trove of art and artifacts, boasting an enormous collection that spans centuries and continents. Whether visitors are interested in ancient Roman sculptures or Renaissance paintings, they are sure to find something that captures their imagination within the museum's walls. Today, the Vatican is a must-see destination for art and history lovers alike, offering a unique and immersive experience that is unlike any other. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and make sure to subscribe for more amazing content.